Welcome to Control Engineering Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you force voltage analogy example in this video. So here we have been given with one mechanical system. And with this mechanical system, first we need to do mathematical modeling of this given mechanical system. So for that, there are few basic steps which we need to follow. First step is to identify number of displacement is equals to number of nodes. So here you see with this system, force F is given over here. So you'll be finding there will be displacement X1 which will happen with this mass and there will be displacement X2 that will happen with this mass. So as there are two displacements, there will be two different nodes. So I need to mention those two nodes over here. So this is node X1 and let us say this is our node X2. Right. Now, in second step, all we need to do is we need to connect masses from the node to the reference. So you see here we have mass M1 that is connected with node X1. So I need to connect mass M1 from the node to the reference. And if you observe mass M2, so that is connected with node X2. So I need to connect mass M2 from the node X2 to the reference. Now in third step, we need to connect all other elements as per figure, right? So you see spring K2 that is connected in between reference and X1. So I'm connecting spring K2 with reference and x1 and you see spring k1 that is there in between x1 and x2 so i am connecting spring k1 in between x1 and x2 and if you observe damper b1 so that is there in between x1 and reference so damper b1 that should be connected in between x1 and reference and in third step we need to connect force from the reference to the given node so now you see force f is connected at node x1 so we need to provide force f from the reference to the given node Right, so it is connected with node X1. You see, I have connected it over here. Right. Now, we have done this mathematical modeling. And based on this mathematical modeling, we can derive equations. So here there are two nodes. So we can have two different equations for this. One equation is there for node X1. And second equation is there for node X2. So at node x1 incoming force that is f that is equals to outgoing force and outgoing force is distributed in b1 m1 k2 and k1 so force in damper b1 that will be b1 into dx1 by dt force in m1 that is plus m1 into d square x1 by dt square plus force in K2 that is K2 into X1 plus force in K1 that is K1 into X1 minus X2. So that is how we can have first equation. Now second equation that is there at node X2. So incoming force at node X2 that is 0. At this node there is no incoming force and that is equals to outgoing force and that is there in k1 and m2 so force in k1 that is k1 into x2 minus x1 now that i need to write as this equation is there for node x2 plus m2 into d square x2 by dt square right mass into acceleration so that is force in m2 now this is what equation that is there in time domain we can have these equations in terms of frequency domain 
by Laplace transform. So let us apply Laplace transform. So after Laplace transform, let us write this first equation. So that is f is equals to b1 into dx1 by dt. So single differentiation will be s into x1 and this x1 that is there in frequency domain now plus m1 into double differentiation. So that is s square into x1 plus k2x1 plus k1 into x1 minus x2. And with this second equation, we will be finding 0 is equals to k1 into x2 minus x1 plus m2 into double differentiation that is s square into x2. So now we have this two equations in frequency domain by mathematical, mathematical modeling of given system. Now we can have force voltage analogy of this system and that we can do by few very simple steps. So first step over here is to replace force by voltage source. So here you see force F that I am replacing by voltage source and in second step we need to apply force voltage analogy by having a translation of series to parallel and parallel to series connection. Let me write first after that I will explain you how to do that. And in that for force to voltage analogy we need to replace mass with inductance, damping constant with resistance, spring constant with 1 by capacitance and displacement by charge Q. And here when you replace those things, remember one thing my dear students, this parallel connection that should be translated into series and series should be getting translated into parallel. Like you see this B1, M1 and K2 is there in parallel. So now in replacement it should be in series over here. So B1 will get replaced by resistance R1. Then this M1 that is getting replaced by inductance L1 and now it will be in series over here. And this spring K2 that should get replaced by capacitance C2 and now it will be in series you see and now you can see this spring K1 that is there in series so here it should be there in parallel with replacement and spring should get replaced by capacitance so here it should be in parallel so this will be C1 over here. And you see M2 is there in parallel. So I need to connect replacement of M2 as per L2 in series. And now I have connected all elements. So I need to make a reference connection like this. So this is how we have a circuit as per force voltage analogy. Now to have equations in force voltage analogy all we need to do is we just need to replace these elements as it is there with this equation. So from this equation only we can directly make equation of voltage like you see force will get replaced by voltage. So first equation will be V is equals to B1 will get replaced by resistance R1 into S into X1 will get replaced by charge Q1 plus M1 will get replaced by L1 into S square into X1 will get replaced by charge Q1 plus K2 that will get replaced by 1 by C2 into X1 will get replaced by charge Q1 plus K1 will get replaced by 1 by C1 into X1 minus X2 that will be Q1 minus Q2 now. So this is first equation. And second equation, now that will be 0 is equals to k1 will be 1 by c1 into x2 minus x1 that will be q2 minus q1 
plus m2 will get replaced by l2 into s square into x2 will get replaced by q2. So that is how two equations are there with us. And now all I want is I wanted to have these two equations in form of current. So we should know what is current. Current I is dq by dt. And if you take Laplace transform of this, then I will be S into Q. Right. So if you provide this replacement in these two equations, then this voltage V is equals to, now you see R1 into SQ1. So that will be R1 into I1 plus L1 S square Q1. So that will be L1 into S I1 plus Q1 by C2. So that will be now I1 by SC2 plus 1 by C1 into Q1 minus Q2 is there. So that will be 1 by SC1 into I1 minus I2. So this is one equation in form of current. Similarly, second equation that will be 0 is equals to 1 by C1 that will be 1 by SC1 into I2 minus I1 plus L2 into S square Q2. So that will be S I2. So these two equations are there with us in form of current. And if you want to derive these equations, if you want to derive these equations, then all you can do is you can take this loop. Let us say this is I1 and this is I2 and you will be getting same equations. So this is how we have force voltage analogy examples. I hope you have understood this. I have solved three different examples based on force voltage analogy and definitely that will help you to understand how to have that translation of mechanical system to electrical system. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. The reason is your suggestions are motivating me and based on that in future I will be making videos which will be solving your queries. So please do give your valuable suggestions. Thank you so much for watching this video.